Good morning, Addison boys and girls. I hope you were able to get outside and do some type of fitness activity. I know the weather kind of cleared up, but it was still quite chilly. I did hear from some other students about doing just dance on the TV, as well as getting a chance to walk around the neighborhood, which are excellent ways to increase your physical fitness while we're here doing our digital learning. But today I have something more for geared for kindergarten, first, second grade, and I'm gonna read a book. Uh, I know we are not able to play sports right now, but we still can learn about them for once we get to go back outside and play sports, you might have a little better knowledge of the activity. But like I said, this is more geared towards kindergarten and first grade today. We're going to read a book that says, Let's Play Baseball. Now, for some of you that don't know, I've been a baseball coach for many, many years in Cobb County. And I also got to go play college baseball. I played high school baseball, and I played Little League baseball. So baseball was always one of my favorite sports growing up. The Atlanta Braves were one of my most favorite teams, but I also enjoyed watching all of baseball. So let's get into the book, and let's find out some new information about baseball. <clears throat> Playing baseball. Catch, throw, hit, run, score. Friends play baseball together. Here we have two boys throwing the ball together. Now, an interesting fact, I actually played baseball with a girl in high school. She was on our freshman team. So baseball can be for both boys and girls. Teams take turns at bat. The pitcher throws the ball. The batter tries to hit the ball with the bat. And here we are. The pitcher's pitching it. The batter's up there ready to hit the ball. <clears throat> batters run to the bases after they hit the ball. They score runs by touching all the bases. And there are four bases in baseball. So here he is running to the base, trying to get there before they throw him out. <clears throat> the fielding team tries to catch the batted ball. They throw it. They try to tag the runner out while they're running the bases. And here the fielder, here she is catching the ball. The runner is trying to get there. If she catches it and tags it, then he will be out. Equipment. Baseball fields have three bases and a home plate. They make a diamond shape. Here they're showing a major league baseball stadium. See how nice and green it is. They have what we call the infield, which is the grass inside the dirt. All right, and then the outfield is considered the area outside of the dirt. Baseball bats are made from strong wood or metal. They're built tough to hit baseballs hard. So back a long time ago, all, right, all kids used to use wooden bats. Now, they use aluminum bats because it helps parents and families not to have to spend so much money, right? Safety. Players wear helmets to protect their heads, all right? <clears throat> they also wear caps to shield their eyes from the sun. So batting helmet and the defender has a hat on here. <clears throat> Players use leather gloves to catch baseballs. Then the ball does not hurt their hands when they're catching it. Here we go, wearing the glove. Having fun. Come hit the ball and run the bases. Let's play baseball together. And here is a little pickup game of them playing baseball out in the yard with some friends because it can be a great social activity. <clears throat> Glossary, we talked about the base, the diamond, out, pitcher. All right, so <clears throat> Let's Play Baseball by Terry DeGreezy. And I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about baseball, and hopefully we can get out on the baseball diamond pretty soon. Everyone have a great day. Thank you. Bye.